Hi dancers, welcome back to Technique Week. Yes, I've been in this tree all night. Today we're going to do a little more Kathak. So we're going to be doing um, push back, those fancy hands, and also a little drill, taking our hands to the corners. Let's get into it. So this hand movement, push back, is one of the most complex hand movements to kind of get the hang of. But once you get it, you're just like, yeah! And you can do it everywhere. When I was first learning it, I kind of like practiced it a lot. Okay, so that's what we're going to do in the next exercise. We're going to be taking our hand up to the corner. Actually, I might do this to the front. We're going to take it to our side corner, directly side, bring it back. Side, turn it, bring it back. And down and bring it back. So when it comes out to the side, it leads with the wrist. And what we're doing is we're going to do an open palm to the front, turn it over and then bring it leading with the wrist back into Utpati. Open palm to the side, unfold it a little, bring it back. Open palm to the back corner, bring it back. And here we can also lean a little bit from your waist. So tilt a little bit through the ribs, don't tilt through the hip and do that with that. With, do that with the hands. With our feet, we're going to take it into an extension. You're lifting up through the supporting leg behind. Extension behind. So what we don't want to see in this part is we don't want to see this to any degree. Even this, because that's enough. We want to stay lifted through this leg. Keep a very slight bend. If you've got like hyperextension, you don't want to lock into your bones. You want to do this in a safe way. And we're going to go out to the side, back, side, back, bottom, back. And then we're going to change sides and we're going to go to the side, back, side, back, side, back, change sides, two, three. Okay. When we're changing sides, we're just going to do three steps. So on the right, we go to the top corner, back, middle, back, down, back, and right, left, right, top, back, middle, back, bottom, back, left, right, left. When we do this exercise, we're going to be facing corners. So when I say corners, I don't literally mean the corner of your room. I'm not even in a room at the moment, so that wouldn't be very much use to us. I want you to imagine, so extend your arms and just beyond the points of your arms, there's a box. So you've got a box all around you, this way, this way, this way, you're in a big glass box, all right? So point to the front right corner, the top front right corner of the box one okay that's your first point point to the top left corner of the invisible box two okay so it's a beautiful glass box middle of that and the bottom okay so really imagine where that glass box kind of like comes together with the floor and point exactly to there it gives you precision and it gives you also a really clear space to look all right, let's break down the second part of this exercise, which is push puck. So we are going to put the backs of our hands together. Okay, so palms are facing outward. We're going to bend our left hand towards the front and our right hand is opening up. So right now, if I were to take my arm carriage down, it looks a bit like this. So palm up with our right hand, nails forward with our left. So palm down with our left, and palm up with our right. It's here. So currently our left hand is in front. You're going to turn your left so both palms are facing this way. You're going to open up like you're kind of doing a dragon ball. And then you're going to bring your left hand underneath. And when you do that, turn through your right to get back to first position. So it's really tricky. Let's break that down again. So this is position one. Backs of your hands are together, palms are out. Position number two, right hand is palm open, left is palm down in front. Position number three, we're gonna turn through our left wrist to get it. We're gonna open up into a dragon ball or a lotus flower, which is more, more in line what we're doing here. And we're going to bring for position number, what are we up to? 4.5, we're gonna bring our left fingers down and turn our right wrist. So that's the trickiest part. Let me show you this way. So backs of your hands together, right palm forward, left palm down, turn the left, turn it over, rotate, 
And from here, bring your pinky side of the left hand down towards you, underneath and start again. Yeah, that's the trickiest part. So we go one, two, three, four. The pinky side has to turn kind of out the door away from you, underneath and start. Okay, how this works in our exercise. We're facing the corner. We go up to the top. Remember, don't shift your weight over. Up to the top, bring it in. Middle, bring it in. Down, bring it in. And as we do right, left, right, one, two, three to change corners, we're gonna lift up and do one push buck to come back down. One, two, three. Are you still with me? Let's go left, ready? So we go top and middle and bottom. Ready? One, two, three. Are you ready? Let's try it with music. Okay, facing the corner, lifting up nice and tall through your spine. Remembering, we don't want to shift over. So we're going to go. One, two, corner. Two, oh, it's all corner. That was unhelpful. One, two, three, and change. Left, top, middle, leading with your wrist. And one, two, three, and up, behind, out, behind. Down, behind, and right, left, right, again, left, back, corner, back, <laughs> bottom, and one, two, three, again. Paying attention to your posture. Don't forget to breathe. Imagine you're feeding everyone. Have a pizza. Have a pizza. Oh, it's good. Have a pizza. Try a bit faster. What? Is this much faster? Last one. Okay, dancers, I hope you enjoyed doing Technique Week this week with me and you learned something new. I know I sure did. I learned all about making like this many videos and kind of getting, coming to grips with making tutorials. It's been a really amazing experience. If you did enjoy it, make sure you jump down into the comments and let us know. Share this video with a friend. Now, if you're from Brisbane, I'll see you at class very soon at Dance Masala. And if you're not from Brisbane, but you ever come through, make sure you jump in, say good day and join a class. This um, tutorial series was also, because we couldn't get studio space, a wonderful opportunity to show you guys the um, Australian flora and fauna. So make sure you look in the back of the Cutluck videos. There's like birds flying around. It's really nice. Okay, I will see you next week. We are dropping videos every single Wednesday, so make sure you subscribe and stay on board. The Drea Courier train. Hoot hoot. See you then. <laughs>